Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. So I ended up with a three and a half day weekend and I got a couple videos ahead. So you're gonna get this like maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But this is actually Sunday, happy Easter. But um, I got a distraction, I always get distractions. But uh, I took a three and a half day weekend for a road trip that didn't happen yet. But I got three and a half days to myself. That's beautiful. And I'll show you what's happening. So here we go. I had put lots of wood chips down, layers of leaves. You can see some straw in there and a coconut that did not make it in the indoor garden. But it's all compost now. <clears throat> so I uh, dropped in 10 dozen worms about two weekends two weekends ago probably and somebody asked me what happens if the worms die because it gets cold right so I don't I don't care I told them <laughs> worms are the best thing for your garden ever imaginably possible whether they live or they die and I will get more in the near future so worm castings are amazing for the garden. So a lot of the stuff coming out of the indoor garden is going to come out to the garden. I do got to get a fence. So once I get some, some fence, keep the critters out, it'll be better. Now another thing, I thought I was going to move. Well, I cleaned the pool out. It doesn't drain correctly down here. So it's a mess. I decided with the attitude I was going to fill it up anyway, and I'll deal with it. So, <laughs> it's not pretty. <laughs> but I'll clean it up, and I'll get the filter going. Then I ran into a problem with that. So, I was missing some washers in the lid. Well, I got a spare pump that I got a lid for that. Well, I can't find the washer. So, there's a lid, but the washer's missing. So, we'll deal with that in a little bit. But right here, let me show you some solar activity going on. That is the solar pool hose. 550 foot. I fired this up yesterday. And a friend called. And I talked on the phone for probably an hour and a half. But I was able to help her with situations. And I was tired, I was exhausted, and, and I went to bed way too late, and I left the water running. So I got a bunch that leaked out under the ground before I hooked up the pump. I just hooked that up a little bit ago. But here's the situation. When you use some pump hose, see the leak? So it's water in the grass right now. Now, funny thing is, Somewhere around here is a leak, and up one of these hoses over here also that is not appearing to be spraying out right now, and I don't know why. But through the years, there's a few patches in here. There's one. There's one over there. There should be about three or four more. Now, I've had this hose for about five years. You get a sump pump hose. I bought it on Myers.com, it was an ad. You can't buy it from Myers, but they had the ad on there. So that was a, like 96 foot. Plus I had a few, because everybody knows from the hardware store, they come in sections of 25. Uh, it's going down to the basement. Okay, so PVC pipe, I think that's a four inch. So anyway, it's 10 foot long, I'm gonna cut it in half. It'll fit in a five gallon bucket. I got a pump for that, and I've got hose to run that. And I'll have two grow towers. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that out, and your little grow basket's gonna fit in it at a 90 degree angle. Until you put your coconut pulp in there. Your coconut pulp will not, uh, they say it doesn't 
collect uh, bacteria and mold or mildew and all that. So I'm going to stuff that in. And that will help the baskets from falling in. Okay? Because we don't want the baskets to fall in too far. We just want it at a 45 degree angle. I got it all worked out. It's just a plan of action right now. But uh, I would